My name's Ali. I lead our talent and people operations teams here at Helion. So I think I'm one of the few people who actually wanted to pursue a career in the people space. I can give you a long backstory about how I ended up here, but TLDR is that I got a master's in HR from Villanova, and I thought, hey, I'll move to Seattle. I'll do recruiting for a little bit. But once I got into recruiting at Microsoft, I realized how critical it was to make sure you have the right people hired for the right roles at the right time. And I've been addicted to helping companies make sure that we build out the best teams, but also in turn, helping people find opportunities that are literally life-changing for them. Well, good news is that most of our engineers that we've hired actually don't come from fusion backgrounds. They come from various backgrounds where they just worked on hard technical problems with other good engineers. For example, one of our engineers who's leading all of the integration efforts from Polaris actually never worked on Fusion. She worked at Blue Origin for several years before she came over here. So the good news for you is that you just have to figure out what do you wanna do in Fusion from an engineering perspective and then start making a shift towards that. And just keep in mind the entire time, you don't need Fusion experience to be an engineer. I think what we're most interested in for engineers when they're joining, especially out of school, is that they worked on a hard technical project. So my advice for you is figure out something you're passionate about, something related to the field you want to go into, and go just work on it. Really understand it, get deep into it, and then be able to share with others what you learned and the outcome that you had. That shows agency, it shows technical rigor, and that's what we're most excited about when we're hiring engineers here. We have individuals who come from various backgrounds with various degrees, and they're helping us build Fusion in different ways. So it's not just about having that engineering degree. So I'd actually push you on, what do you want to do in Fusion? Is it you just want to work on Fusion because you want to make an impact and drive something for humanity? Or is it because you actually want to go back and you want to build things that contribute towards Fusion? So my advice for you is actually, don't go back to school right now if you want to work in Fusion. Your focus should be, how do you start translating your skills into some of the jobs that fusion companies are hiring for? The good news for you is oil and gas, it's actually a great field to be in because you work on really complex hardware. If you're a mechanical engineer doing some of that work, that is gonna translate into the work that we're doing here. My recommendation for you is go connect with individuals working in fusion. Applying for jobs is great. We actually hire a high percentage of our talent from direct applicants on the website as well. But what we want to see is you show the initiative and you go out and start meeting engineers in this field. That's going to be the best way for you to get in. The biggest job need we're continuing to see, and I expect we will see for the next 10 plus years, is going to be more good electrical engineers. Electrical engineers are so critical and anyone who goes into that field and is able to contribute is going to make a direct impact in making all of the work we're doing a reality. I think there's two things that I would start with here. One is, I'd actually push you, Helion or Fusion aside, what do you want to do and why do you want to do it? So you're saying you want to be a particle physicist, but you don't know entirely what that means or why. So go meet with people who've already done this. Go connect with them and understand what their job is and what their work is. Does that excite you? Is that something you want to do for the next 20, 30, 40 years? If the answer is no, it's okay to step back and reassess. If the answer is yes, great. The other thing that I would mention to you specific to Helion is we have several individuals on the team who specialize in plasma physics. It's one of the hardest pipelines for us to hire for, but one of the most critical. We also have someone who has a physics background, but actually leads all the efforts for our electrical engineering team. Not something you typically see, but that just shows you there's a variety of ways to get into fusion and make an impact. And it doesn't start with just one dedicated major. So you're working in aerospace, have a privately funded company, you're really doing really important technical work, but you want to have bigger impact. That's why most of our engineers actually joined. Several of them came from SpaceX, Blue Origin, Kuiper Project at Amazon, and they were doing really important technical work, but they realized that they could do something bigger, they could impact humanity on a bigger scale, and they chose to come to Helion. What do they all have in common? They were driven by the mission, they love doing hard technical work, and they want to work with really smart engineers. So check out our career site. So my advice for students, whether they're looking for an internship or looking to join Helion as an early career grad, 
The biggest things that we look for is, were you a great student academically, but also did you do something beyond the academics? Were you involved in some kind of technical clubs? Robotics club, for example, is a really good one. Uh, did you do some kind of internship or did you have some hands-on experience where you built something and you actually delivered something outside the classroom? I would encourage you to do that because we don't just want individuals who are strong in the classroom. We want people who like building things and do it with urgency. So I think a common misperception about working in Fusion is that you need to be an expert in some niche field that no one has heard of. It's actually not the case at all. What we care about, especially for our engineers, is that you really have a good fundamental understanding of engineering and you take a first principles approach for how you think about your work. Second, we also want individuals who are really motivated to work on the mission and understand the work that they do will impact something much bigger than themselves. And lastly, you wanna be an expert in say mechanical engineering, but you really need to understand broader systems. So what does that mean? If you're a mechanical engineer, do you understand how your work and your design impacts the electrical engineering team? Do you understand how your work will potentially impact the manufacturing team, which will have a downstream impact on our supply chain efforts? I'm biased, but get into a startup. You'll actually build things, you'll deliver things, and your rate of learning will be exponential versus anything else you do. Yeah, I think there's so many ways to contribute in Fusion that don't require you to come from academia. We have individuals all over the company who work in things outside of our engineering and research teams. We have a finance team, we have a people team, we have a comms team. Uh, we also have a big technician workforce that comes from retail, comes from delivery and logistics, and comes from working in other places where they're able to apply their skills and actually help us build machines that will deliver Fusion to the world. We are just keen on hiring good talent who wants to build Fusion. At Helion, we actually have hired several individuals who come from Canada, and we're continuing to look for talent across the world who can make an impact on what we're doing. Yeah, you should come check out Helion. We go to various conferences throughout the year where our plasma researchers uh, and our engineers will chat with you about what we're working on, what we're building. Uh, we also have internships for early career students who are focused on getting into plasma physics, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. So I think Helion is a place where you'll be able to find a lot of people who can give you guidance on some of the things you could take on potentially. So when it comes to compensation, we actually benchmark ourselves against other tech companies who are in similar stages. So if you're familiar at all with how tech companies pay, I would say we are market competitive and we make sure we have a competitive base salary for all of our employees. We also make sure that all of our employees get equity. So everyone has a stake and ownership in the success of Helion. So we, we hire several folks with PhDs on both our nuclear team and our research team. But I think the demand that we continue to see grow and grow is on our engineering teams, uh, specifically our electrical engineering team. I think what we talk about Helion is that this is no longer a physics problem. This is an engineering problem. So we need talented individuals who understand the fundamentals of engineering and know how to build and deliver good hardware. Well, don't think about doing research in electrical engineering or fusion. Come build stuff. So I would push you to find what you're excited about in electrical engineering, go find an internship, go start a project, and go build things. Whether it's going to be anything to do with high pulse power systems, whether it's gonna be anything to do with low voltage, just go build things, and that's gonna be the best way you can apply your degree and get in the fusion space. There are conferences throughout the year. Helion and many other fusion companies are active at these conferences, host many events, and your best opportunity is go talk to the people actually building fusion and see what they're up to. If you want to work in Fusion, my one piece of advice for you is just build things. If you go out and build things, pursue projects, show that you can do really good work, whether it's creating an awesome hype video because you want to get a job on the comms team here, or it's building some kind of technical project that shows that you can be a really good engineer at Helion, that is what we want to see. We hire builders who want to deliver Fusion to the world.